Dude, do you think this game is worth it? I mean, we need to like record it and it's really good, so yeah. Do you think it's worth it in 2021, though? What is it? Ken Rebel T6. Well, this thing's rocking, uh... I don't even know. Let me look it up. You guys are seeing what I see right now. So I think I'm going to screen record it so you guys know what I'm seeing. All right, so here we got the um, EOS Rebel T6. This is exactly what I have. The review, the reviews kind of say that it's pretty good. Um, the app, as you guys know, is junk. You can't even export 4K or 1080p or 480p video. You can't ex export any video, just photos through the app. It does have um, digital focus. It does not have autofocus. And it has 18.0 megapixels, which... I mean, it's good, but the iPhone has three, three 12 megapixel cameras. So I don't know which one's worth it at today's point. Like is today, is the iPhone 12 worth it for a camera is, or is this, this Canon Rebel T6 worth it for a photography camera? It's built in, it has built in Wi-Fi as well as, um, ISO up to 128, uh, 100, I don't know, for shooting from bright light to low light. Um, you guys can just read off of what I'm able to see right now. Um, on the, I'm just screen recording, so it'll be up on the screen. And yeah, um, full HD movie mode, which, but I could go on and on about of how the, the specifications are. But the real question is, is it different than using an iPhone 12 as a camera in 2021? Let's get right into this. Okay, so if you guys didn't know, I film with my iPhone 11 Pro Max almost every time I record. My cameraman is recording with his iPhone 12 or iPhone 11. So we might do a side by side comparison. Phones can be really good, surprisingly, for YouTube. Any uh, yeah. cinematic uh, Apple like uses phones uh, to film sometimes. Yeah, they use phone. Pho they probably use their own th phones to record their their like trailers sometimes. Yeah, Who knows? like it's gotten to that point where like phones are almost or as good as cameras. Sometimes even better. So. We're going to be doing a side-by-side -side of just looking around my room with that camera and this camera. All right, guys. Here is the side-by-side -side comparison of both of the cameras. Try zooming into the doorknob, please. And I'll do the same thing. I'm controlling the... Yeah. Yeah, so if, if, you, if you can tell, the iPhone can really focus in really better, can it? And you can just tap the screen for it to focus even more. Can't do that on the Canon. You can turn the brightness up or down. And how about you try focusing in onto the light bulb? We're not trying to blind the viewers, but yeah, it's terrible on here. For me, it's surprisingly good. There's a little uh, lens flare. Yeah, but I'm, oh my God, it's terrible. How about try focusing in on the light bulb that's not on just to see if, if it focuses in on things. Mine doesn't. I have to use manual focus. Mine focuses autofocus. Yeah, it doesn't even, mine doesn't even go in that slow. The Canon. Or that good. It doesn't even go in all the way. If you guys... I don't know what I'm saying. But how about you try focusing it through the window? Like, look through the window. Like, mine doesn't even focus at all. Oh my god, guys. I think we know the answer. <laughs> iPhone's way better. And uh, it doesn't oh, have wait, to be... Off. It doesn't have to be iPhone either. Um, the Samsung phones are quality... How this way? Because I'm filming. Samsung phone quality isn't always the best, but uh, iPhone is better. Yeah. With those uh, quality... Yeah, something about cameras though is just having knowing the fact that you can you're able to like use an SD card. I know iPhones they don't allow SD cards. They allow SD cards in Samsung and all the other phones in the world. And that's why um you know cameras are more efficient. And a lot of iPhone users use camera like yeah. their own camera because you can't have external storage in there. Especially when you like you want to plug it into a uh, uh, Mac or any computer, uh, SD cards work always better. Um, of course, you can use a lightning to USB, but, you know. Yeah. So, um, you know, my opinion is that with, I mean, obviously there's going to be some cameras way better than iPhones or any uh, phone camera. And, you know, that's just how it is. But the iPhone 11 compared to the Canon EOS Rebel T6 um, doesn't really match up. Uh, it's not a fair fight. Um you know, basically, like, I agree with Alex, any phone above the, uh, 10, or the 10S even, um, will be better than the Canon Rebel. So, um, hope you guys learned something about 
camera quality and uh yeah obviously if you're starting up a new channel um and you have a camera you can use your phone you can even edit on there um there's editing software that's great iMovie is great you can upload directly to youtube from iMovie and um hope you learned a good lesson about uh tech and uh we'll see you guys later